So, Radioactive Kaiseido is today's SBC, and this card is very, very interesting. 85 rated squad with an inform, and 84 and 83 rated squad outside of that. And this is really, really cool, right? First of all, because he's Premier League, links are great. Chelsea, links are great. And Ecuador, links aren't so good. So, with him being Radioactive, it really is quite nice to have this card. He is 3 star, 3 star, 5'10". High, high work rates and controlled explosive. You can also see his playstyle plus there as well is Bruiser. Even greater strength when performing physical tackles, which is quite nice because he doesn't have the best physical in the world. Outside of that as well, he's got incredible playstyles. Tiki Tacker is great. Ping Pass is brilliant. Intercept and Anticipate. Great combination there. He's also got Slide Tackle and Relentless, which is very very nice. He can play CDM and centre mid. We've moved him to a centre mid here as well. We've got a shadow on him. He's got 80 pace by default. Good passing. Good dribbling. Great defending and very, very good physical. You know, he's got relentless, so the stamina doesn't really matter. The biggest things you're looking at here are the, the shooting stats in the right areas, the, the good pace, the passing is very important. And, of course, the dribbling does resemble Kante quite a lot from his time at Chelsea as well. So, with the shadow applied... 88 pace, you know, 83 vision is good, especially with the 89 short pass and long pass being at 87. Very, very decent. Dribbling stats, good agility and balance with very good reactions. Ball control at 93 is incredible. And then dribbling doesn't really matter on a CDM slash centre mid like this on 82. Composure great at 88 as well. Reactions and composure boost to this card are amazing. And of course, the defending stats are what you really care about on this card. And he's got them in abundance. You know, he's got poor head and accuracy, but outside of that, his defending stats are great. And his physicals for a small man are decent. Of course, the strength and aggression doesn't really matter too much when he's got Bruiser Plus. I think this card looks amazing. I really like him. I think he's well valued. Let's get into a few games and see what he can do. If you need cheap, fast and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to MMOEXP.com and use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. Okay, guys, first game now coming up with Kaiseido. I'm not going to force a play through him. We're just going to see how he performs during 90 minutes and see if he is worth these three squads. You know, it's, it's quite interesting when you compare a kind of card like this to Bellingham, to um, De Jong as well, which this guy's got. I don't know if it's the special version or not. Get to that. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Just to test out his passing and stuff as well, you know. Oh, my God, that's nice. Go on in, John Arna. Oh, that's a good catch from Edison, isn't it? That's a very good catch from our man Edison there. This guy's a sweat as well, huh? Here is Kaiseido tracking back as well. I need to worry about that at the moment. Don't need to worry. Go on, Kaiseido. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Inside there. Oh, he's got the pullback with oh, Militao, you know. Kaiseido should be intercepting that there, by the way. Should be. Didn't. Let's feel that physicality. Nice. That's on his weak foot as well there. That's that's really jammy from this guy that he's got the ball back there. What is going on? There's no space to manoeuvre in. Literally none at all, is there? That's tough. That's tough. Okay. Good start from Kaiseido here. I mean, that is just an inception. Me looking for a tackle there. What's this guy doing? Is he going to kick it out? No, he's not. Okay. Mo Salah. Nice. Into Kaiseido here. And because he's got Tiki Tacker, it means his first time passes are very, very clean. So, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, get out of the way, Greasy. Let's see what his long shots are like, if we can get the opportunity. Dribbling feels good on him. Nice little pass here into Greasy as well. Oh, what is going on? Jude. Jude Bellingham. Oh, what? I don't know what's happened there. I'll bring you back. Okay, I don't know what that what that was for, to be honest. But still, here we are. Uh, kaiseido has been good so far, guys. I know it's only 12 minutes in, but you can tell... Almost instantly, you know, a CDM with these play styles is insane. Look at that, guys. This is going to be one of them CDMs that I think a lot of people are going to have. Um, you know, the chemistry stuff is great on him. You know, with him being Ecuadorian, you kind of need him to have that extra chem kind of stuff, which he does. That's going to be one nil. What a toe punt that is. Okay. One nil down here. One nil down. Um, but Caicedo has been great, right? He has been very, very nice early doors here. I don't really know if Bruiser Plus is any good. But I feel like 
on a CDM with Anticipate and Intercept. It's going to kind of work like he's got um, Anticipate Plus, right? It's good stuff. It's a nice ball there too. One more. I played that first time, EA, man. And there isn't actually that many CDMs on this game that have the play styles that Kaiseido has. He's got to be off, right? Yeah, nice. Okay. We're dominating this game. But somehow we're losing it. Nice. Good play. Go on in, Kaiseido. Nice. Jude. Another chance for Jude. Makes it 1-1. One, one. There you go. Assist for Kaiseido there as well. And if you guys don't really know how... Nice. You don't really know how Tiki Taka works. It's all about the the kind of first-time pass that the player can play. It just makes it so much better for first-time pass and, 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 believe it or not, Tiki Taka. Um, you know, it, it's, it's actually really good and it's quite undervalued on this game from what I've seen so far of people playing with it. Here is Kaiselo again. That's not where I've aimed it. I'm not blaming Kaiselo for that one because that's not where I aimed it at all. They're on the inside here and he's going to back on the out. Oh, Vinny's so good, isn't he? Vinny is great on this game. Tried to do a cancel there of some sort as well. Damn, this guy's a, a good player. Good player. He's on side there too. Nice, Allison. Okay. Okay, I've been very, very impressed with Kaiseido in this game. And he certainly feels like more of a CDM than anything else, right? You can't really play him anywhere else, it feels like. But still, this card feels great. This card... Oh, let's go. Oh, good save, good save. Let's go to some highlights. Do you know what? His R1 dribbling isn't even that bad either. That's a lovely little pass there. Oh, what a ball. What a ball, man. This card is sick. And to kind of say that again here. Quick little pass there. Nice. Good football, this. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, what? Oh, guys. He is one of the best CDMs I've used. Not a doubt in my mind. Not That's got to be a pen rep, hasn't it? Here he goes again. Can find that ball as well. This is a this is a great CDM, guys. I can't lie. Is that going to be another assist for him as well? Oh, off the bar. Guys. He is brilliant. He is brilliant. You can see here as well, guys, his R1 dribbling isn't actually bad at all. Now, of course, you're not going to get much from him in an attacking sense, and you really shouldn't be playing him as a box-to-box. -box. He is very much a holding midfielder, and that is the way to play with him. I like this card a lot, though. I, I have to say, I really like this card. There he is again, man. His positional awareness seems great as well. Good goal there from Son. I'll tell you something, guys. Just based off that there, right? You really can't feel the Bruiser Plus. Which is a bit disappointing. But he offers so much kind of in this driving kind of area. And defensively, because he's got Anticipate and Intercept. You don't even really need um, the physical with him. He's not that kind of player. It's a bit of a strange playstyle choice for this card. I feel like, you know, like Intercept Plus would have been great. Anything like that would have been awesome. Um, but I do still really like him. I do still think this card's amazing. Yeah, see, I've, I think that right there, guys, is incredible. Very unlucky not to get the ball back there. Good defending there, though. Um, because he's got Tiki Taka, right? It allows him to get the ball under pressure and still find a really good pass. Man, this might be... I'm not, I'm not joking when I say this, and you think I am going to be joking... One of the best SBCs EA have released so far this year. No cap. He is brilliant. Very, very good card. Yeah, sometimes you feel his passing being a bit stinky. But generally speaking, boys, honestly, what a great card. There he is. That's that's the Bruiser Plus coming in there. Oh, it's a lovely spray there too. Oh, his passing, man. His passing's great. Yeah, very good on the turn as well. Very good on the turn. 
This card, man. I mean, yeah, that's incredible. Oh, what a goal as well, guys. This card's incredible. I'm not going to sit here and say that I know absolutely everything about FC24. I'm pretty sure I can give you a great verdict on this card, though. This is one of the best CDMs on this game right now. He has got some of the best play styles to play that role. The only thing he's missing is long ball pass. But ping pass is really underrated. And so is Tiki Taka. And what I said in the gameplay is these two here together essentially work as anticipate plus. When he makes a standing tackle, he is going to win the ball back. And if you need to make a sliding tackle, he's got the play style slide tackle, which is brilliant. Bruiser is quite irrelevant on this card, unfortunately. You know, it'd be so good if he got... Intercept plus or Tiki Tack or Ping Pass plus. But Bruiser is okay. You know, it kind of negates the fact that he's got poor strength. But more often than not, you're not going to really feel the Bruiser plus on him. And then Relentless is great as well, guys. He has got the best mixture of play styles for a CDM on the game, in my opinion. I'm going to go quickly take a look at some of the other options that you would use as a CDM on this game. And you know, Frankie De Jong is one. Uh, this Kante is great and is actually very, 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 very similar to Caicedo. Uh, Chami Alonso is good as well. Once again, no anticipate on Chami Alonso, though. Same with Makaleli. Block plus is, is worse than Bruiser plus. And you really are looking at, guys, a card here that I think all of you sh should complete, especially if you've got a Premier League side. He's cheap. I'm well, not cheap, but he's well priced. And he is a monster on this game. Shooting, you're not going to get anything from, right? His passing is very, very consistent, and you won't have any issues with it. The freestyle weak foot is a bit jarring, but still you can get past that because of the fact that he's a CDM and should only really need to play small passes here and there, maybe the odd long ball every now and then. And you can do that with the R1, X passes, and ping pass as well. He's very, very good at receiving the ball under pressure because he's got Tiki Taka. And if you don't know what Tiki Taka does... Executes difficult first-time ground passes with high accuracy. Using back heels when contextually appropriate. Appropriate, sorry. Short distance ground passes are highly accurate as well. Which is very, very nice for this card. Um, he is he, he is brilliant, man. He is brilliant. The dribbling stats on him are really good as well. Good jockeying on him. And very good at driving forward from deep. With the good dribbling stats and good passing stats. Defensively. The defending stats don't really matter. It's more about the fact that he's got anticipated and intercept. Every time he does tackle, he's getting the ball back, which is incredible. And then his physicals are very, very decent too. The aggression's okay. Strength is more like 99 because he's got Bruiser Plus. And when you need him to have a physical challenge, he will do very well with it because of Bruiser Plus. So strength is 99. Stamina is great with that Relentless as well, guys. This is a card that I think is one of the best CDMs on the game. I think he is probably Premier League's best CDM on the game for sure. And I would recommend him to anybody running a Premier League side or someone who needs a proper DM that can move around the pitch very freely and has good passing. I'm going to rate the value of this one like an 8 out of 10. Quality of the card is going to be like a 9.9 .9 out of 10 for his position. Remember that it's for his position. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.